Today I'm going thrifting and I am going to take you with me. Now normally the thrift store that I go to, it opens at nine o'clock. Now I haven't been to this particular one in several months. It's Savers, but yes, I haven't been in a long time. So apparently I guess since the pandemic they've changed their hours so I drove over here a little bit before nine o'clock so that I can get in there you know kind of early and when I got there I saw a sign on the door and they don't open until 11 so I was like oh my gosh nine to 11 that's two whole hours so rather than sitting in the parking lot I called my mom and we were chatting and then I decided I would just drive over to Target because I had some things on my list that I wanted to get but while I was talking to my mom, we got on the subject of food and we were talking about mushrooms. So she said she was making some mushrooms and that she puts sherry in her mushrooms. So I was like, oh my gosh, because I like mushrooms too. And I like sauteing mushrooms and that's how she was making hers. But I had never heard of putting sherry in her mushrooms. So since I happen to be going to Target anyway, I decided I was going to get some sherry. So I just wanted to share that with you. So I purchased this sherry cooking wine and it looks like this. So I am planning whenever I do make some mushrooms again, I'm going to put this in there and see, you know, what kind of difference it makes because my mom says it really makes a difference so yes i'm gonna try this i wanted to share that with you and i'm excited and oh just so you know i did find this in the like vinegar pickles what else was over there barbecue sauces i found it in that aisle because i wasn't sure where to find it but it was easily easy to find so wanted to pass that along and now i am going to go ahead on and head over to this thrift store it should be open now or if not it should be opening very soon thank you target for saving the day <laughs> a whole lot I did purchase three things but I only purchased one um, item of fabric the others that I saw I just wasn't crazy about them or there was something wrong with them even this one that this one had a little snag in it but I can I can work around that 
the other one that I saw which was like a Ponte cream fabric but it had like a blue some kind of blue coloring discolorations that I thought maybe you know it might not even come out but this I can do something with I don't know what but it's nice because it's fall it's you know it's about to be fall or it is fall and this is pretty heavy so well it's kind of heavy it's definitely not a summer fabric but yes I can figure out something that I can make with this and then the other items I bought were just jeans because I want to take the pockets off and add the pockets to other garments and I like when you take the pockets off because it leaves this little color on the inside so once you take one pocket off it still has a little discoloration on the back but I like that I like the way it looks I never really use my back pockets anyway so I'm okay with taking them off and I don't even know if these jeans will fit me I just picked these up because they were three dollars so I was like okay to take the pockets off for three dollars yeah I'm getting it the other pair of jeans I do like now the dressing rooms were closed so they're not letting you try on any clothes but these are from J Crew and I love J Crew they have really nice quality clothes and this is called the toothpick so the leg is a little bit slim at the bottom so I thought that these might be cute they're ankle length though so I'm not sure if I'll like that because that means they're gonna you know they may rise up a little high but we'll see I'm gonna you know take them home and see how I like them and if nothing else I can use the pockets for something so that is what I got now I will go ahead and share with you my sewing make for today which is actually this dress that I'm wearing so I will tell you all about that next okay, so the dress that I am wearing or was wearing is McCall 7774 I made you see and the fabric is from Minerva.com. I really love the fabric. It is a ponty knit fabric. It does have a little heavy weight to it. And it could be because the bodice is self-lined. So I lined it with the same fabric. And, you know, the fabric was already heavy. But then when I added the extra fabric to the lining of the bodice, it just made it feel a little bit heavier. So if I ever make this dress again, I would definitely use a lighter fabric. But I still love the dress. It's just heavy to, as far as being worn. It feels heavy on. And it's also kind of warm when you're wearing it. You feel a little bit hot because you have on, you know, a heavy material. But it, the fabric called for a stable knit. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try and just see how it works. It's a stable knit as well as other fabrics which are woven. But I decided, hey, I'll just try this stable knit and see how it works. So that's the outcome but I will still wear the dress I really do like it now the front bodice is cut on the bias and so as a result these straps the straps the stripes ended up making like a chevron design on the front so that was an unexpected surprise but I really like it it's also that way in the back now some of the features in this fabric or this pattern I should say there are gathers in the waist there is an invisible zipper in the back there are darts in the front of the bodice and there are side pockets and the pattern is also rated as easy. So I want to give you an update on my purchases from the thrift store. So I measured the fabric once I got home and I have two and three quarter yards of fabric. So that's quite a bit. I think I can definitely, you know, make something out of that and be happy with it. Even working around the little snag that was in there. And as far as the jeans, one pair fits kind of tight and the other pair fits a little loose. So I'll show you what those look like on. Okay, so 
also before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So I recently learned that you can buy pre-made dough from Costco for baked goods such as cookies, croissants, and other pastries. And you can freeze those goods until you are actually ready to use them. All you would need to do is just go to the bakery section at Costco and ask for uncooked boxes of items that you are interested in baking and you want to check and see hey what do you have that i can take home and bake so you can do that and i thought that was so good to know especially if you're having like something big a lot of people over yeah that's that's good to know